Hey there guys, it's Sean Moore from CGN, and I'm bringing you something pretty neat today. I'm going to tell you my own personal kind of notes on how to level up fast and level up faster than all your friends on the release of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on November the 13th of 2012. Now there is about 12, I think maybe 13 days until this game comes out, and I know everyone's thinking, or I at least, want to be highest level last year my partner for, on this channel Cooper Coop Troop as you may know him was leveling up crazy fast on the release of MW3 and that kinda got to me that he was leveling up faster than me and so I wanted to help you guys maybe if you get into that situation this year first off you're going to want to start with small kill streaks so you're gonna wanna I recommend doing the RCXD the UAV and the hunter killer drone not only do you get the points for calling in the kill streak, but you also with the XD, RCXD and the Hunter Killer drone, you also get the points for the kill. I'm pretty sure is how it works. And if it's anything like Modern Warfare 3, where your kill streaks roll over, say you um, had a UAV care package Predator drone in MW3, and you called in and you got your fifth kill streak, it rolls over and restarts your kill kill streak and so you get another UAV care packaging predator once you get another five kills so if it's anything like that you're gonna want to use low kill streaks so you get the maximum amount of points possible for your time played like I said before you get the points for getting the kill probably and calling it in I'm not hundred percent sure but that's probably how it's gonna be and black ops 2 you definitely want to play the objective and they made this part of the game because they felt that people were not playing the objective as much as they possibly should or people ignore the objective in domination they kill or they play it only to get kills because in stuff like uh, drop zone people go into drop zone and just go nowhere near the drop site and just snipe everyone running toward it now they didn't they felt that that wasn't how you're supposed to be playing their game so they added in score streaks, not kill streaks, but score streaks. And I'm sure you've probably already heard that. And you're probably thinking, wow, that's pretty basic Call of Duty or any other first person shooter that has objective based gameplay to actually go after the objective for points. Well, <clears throat> I guess this one's going out to all the people that have just started playing Call of Duty and may, may, may not have heard yet, but when you get your score, you get your points from playing the objective those go toward your kills your score, uh, kill streaks which are now called score streaks again <laughs> um so you get points for that and then you get the points of calling in that score streak then you get the points of the kill that you might possibly get from calling in that kill streak so that's three times the amount of points if you just play the objective use those kill streaks and get kills with them so that maximizes it by three times over now the my last tip for now is the fact that in combat training in black ops 2 you can level up that for your online multiplayer career as i'm going to say it but only up to level 10 so you can play con you can, the second you get the game you can just pop in black ops 2 and just go right to combat training, put the bots on easy, I'm assuming you can do, and then just simply kill the bots until you're level 10. Now, that's easy. Like, you're going to level up so fast. <laughs> but the easy bots on Black Ops 1 were ridiculously easy. Like, that was, just, it, was it was like laughably easy. And so... You just want to pop your disc in, go right to combat training, get to level 10. Everyone else is still level 1. Probably it'll take only one game. It's as easy as that. So that's what I recommend doing. And that's all I have for you right now for on how to level up fast. I might come out with another video once I actually play the game and have a more <clears throat> experienced technique to leveling up after playing the game because I have not yet. This is not my gameplay. This comes from either GamesCon or Eurogamer or somewhere. I'm not sure 100% where this actually came from. 
So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I'd also really appreciate a like, thumbs up. That'll uh, give me more inspiration to make more <coughs> videos on uh, how to level up faster for gaming games for you. And uh, also subscribe. We definitely need subscribers. We're not. We just love making videos for you guys. And it really gives us a boost when you subscribe to us. So continue doing that for us. We really appreciate it. <coughs> And thanks again for watching.